Have you ever tried to read in your target language? Especially if you're a beginner, chances are that you found reading difficult or even frustrating. The reason is quite straightforward. More often than not, we choose the wrong reading material and we eventually give up. So today I want to help you choose what to read to really improve your language skills. Nowadays, we have plenty of choice of reading material, short stories, novels, online articles, magazines, comics, and so on and so forth. But the truth is that choosing material suited to your level is not easy at all. First of all, let's see why you find reading to be difficult. When we read in our native language, we are used to understanding nearly every word. As I explained in my video about how many words you need to speak a language, a native speaker passively knows about 70,000 words. But as beginners and intermediate learners, our vocabulary is quite limited, so we cannot expect to understand every word of a text in a foreign language. But unfortunately, that's exactly what we try to do. The truth is that when you read in your target language, you must accept the fact that you won't understand every single word. You need to learn to rely on context to figure out the general meaning. Context is always there to help you figure out the big picture of what you're reading. And whenever you're really stuck, you can always look up a word. That said, I strongly recommend that you don't stop reading very often. Otherwise, reading will become a chore. What you can do instead is write the word down and look it up later on. Another tip I can give you is to start with short articles and stories. The longer the text, the more likely you are to quit. We often feel the need to finish what we start, and reading an entire novel in a foreign language is not easy at all at the beginning. These are great strategies, but you won't be able to apply them if you choose a book or an article that is way too difficult for you. When it comes to reading in a foreign language, you basically have two choices. Material written for native speakers versus material written and designed for language learners. In the first category, you'll find a lot of stuff about the interests and the passions you might have. While reading what native speakers read is more rewarding and appealing, I don't recommend it for beginner and intermediate learners. On the other hand, if you are an advanced level, then you can read pretty much anything you want, as long as you're okay with not knowing every word and expression you come across. But but this video is addressed more to beginner and intermediate learners. So if you really want to read what native speakers read, then you basically have two possibilities. Stories for children or comics. Kids books are often recommended for beginners, but if you try to read stories written for children, you'll quickly realize that they are not the best choice. First of all, these stories are often not interesting for adults. Second, they often contain words or phrases which are not useful and common. To give you an example, I read several books in Romanian without too many issues, but when I tried to read a story written for children in Romanian to my son, I found out that there were so many words I did not know. When I asked my wife to translate, I found out why. These words were completely useless to me, so as an adult I never felt the need to learn them. I'm talking about words like dandelion, ladybug, and velvet, for example. Instead, I recommend using comics and graphic novels because they provide two crutches for you to lean on. Context, but that's true for most reading material, and features. The images in comic books are usually helpful for figuring out the general meaning of what you read. And you'll have plenty of choice because many popular comics have been translated into dozens of languages. In the description below, I've included a link to an article that lists the comics we recommend for language learners. If comics don't appeal to you, then you should 
should look into the other category I mentioned, material written specifically for language learners. Let's start with the very popular resource, graded books. A graded book is an easy reading resource whose level is adapted to be understood by beginners. So if you are a beginner learner, you can read a story or a novel which has been simplified specifically for your level. Person and Penguin are two popular publishing houses which offer a pretty decent choice of graded books. Another good option is the Short Stories for Beginners series by our friend Ollie Richards. Instead of simplifying existing texts, Ollie has written many original graded short stories. I have read many graded texts in the past and I must say that they are useful and enjoyable at the same time. This is one of the reasons why we decided to put graded texts on our learning platform Mosalingua Web. For instance, we have many articles for beginners and with our Moza Discovery plugin, whenever you feel the need to look up a word or phrase, all you have to do is to click it for a translation. And with the second click, you can even create a flashcard which you can use to memorize that word or phrase. Another possibility you have is using bilingual books where you have on one page your target language and on the next page your mother tongue. This is very useful because whenever you stumble upon a word or phrase you don't understand, you can always refer to the text on the next page to get the translation in your native language. In the same family of bilingual books, you have interlinear books where the translation is just below the text line by line. This is quite handy and useful even if I find it a bit distracting since it's hard to focus on the original language on the target language without checking the translation. That's why I personally prefer bilingual books when you have the original text and the translation side by side. With bilingual books, you first make the effort to understand what you read and then you deliberately choose to check the translation if you need help. Of course, with bilingual books, you still need to choose something suited to your level. Speaking of difficulty, the key is choosing something which is neither too easy or too hard for you. Too easy means that that you remain inside your comfort zone and you do not make progress. Too difficult results in boredom, frustration and often giving up. You should choose something in between based on the famous theory of comprehensible input. Its author, American linguist Stephen Krashen, explains that language learners improve their skills when they receive inputs which are one step above their current level. That means that you should work with content which is right for your level, but that gradually introduces new ideas, more difficult words, and so on. If you want some extra help from us, you can watch my previous video about the benefits of reading in a foreign language. Check out the link below where we list a lot of comics, books, short stories for language learners. And take a look at Mozalingua Web, where you find a lot of reading material suited to your needs. That's all for today. Happy reading! and happy learning. If you learned something new from this video, give it a thumbs up. Then hit subscribe and turn on your notifications. Have a look around our channel for more hacks and tips. And if you're watching on another social media platform, like or follow our page. See you next time.